There's, there's Jerry. With the preacher man, man says it's the end of time. And the Mississippi River, oh, she's a go Get over, boy. Get on that one. Yeah, now I got two. The interest I is got my up on and this the side stock here. market's down. And you're only getting mugged if you go downtown. Man, the whole plan. That's Henry Thompson right there. Look up here, Henry. I live back in the woods, you see. What them turtles woman do, and the kids and the dogs and me. TJ, I got you a shotgun, a rifle, and a four wheel drive, and a country boy can survive. Yeah, post, post, post. Country folks can survive. Who else? I can plow a field all day long. I can catch catfish from dusk till dawn. Make our own whiskey and our own smoke, too. Ain't too many things these old boys can't do. We grow good old tomatoes and homemade wine, and country boy can survive. Country folks can survive Because you can't starve us out And you can't make us run Those wooden old boys raised on shotguns We say crazy, we say ma'am If you ain't into that, we don't give a damn We came from the West Virginia coal mines And the Rocky Mountains and the western skies. Okay, we're getting ready to get in the creek here. Right there's the creek. Come on down. We got another hunter right over there. That's my little brother. My brother-in-law there. Now, the reason we got all these people is we're hoping to fill a couple sacks up. And when you do that, you got a lot of weight to carry around. And we got a long ways to walk up through here. We ain't got nothing yet, but don't worry. The day's going to get a little better here. It ain't going to take long for Frog to find one. Noah or Daniel, move out of the way here, buddy. What? There's the king of them right there. <laughs> Teaching all his fellas how to do it. Until he hurt his damn back. Yeah. Chumley at his best there. And this is what you call loving turtles so much you have to really get in there and get them. Justin and Daniel ain't doing nothing but making the turtles go away. Any beds in there, Frog? You can't make no turtles go away by talking. Kind of rocky. Kind of rocky in there. <laughs> They're pretty good ways down the creek. Looking. There's a couple of them. Pull them out, fellas. You wanna know where he got his nickname Frog? Well, that right there should tell you. He's way up underneath that shore bank there. Looking for him.
And we are in snake infested waters, but we know what to look for. Uh, just a little water tarpon. Ah, uh, hell, he ain't nothing. That ain't the kind we eat right there. Let him go. Here, he's got his hands on a soft shell. If he can get them out there so fast, though, they can go through the water like a fish. You got him, Jerry? There's a soft shell turtle. That's the kind we want to eat right there. Let me get up there. Let me get here a little closer. The damn sun's not right. I can't. There's a soft shell turtle caught there. Look at that neck on him. In the bag. One in the bag, several hundred to go, we hope. He's pulling her out. Any size to him? There's a snapper right there. There's a good snapper. Yes, sir. Look at him. He's trying to get him. That's how you catch these Kentucky snappers right there. There's two in the bag. That's our first snapper today. We normally go up the creek quite a ways before we get into some good water. He's liable to pull another one out of that root there. He's gonna come over here and give him a hand. Now, you might think this is real dangerous, but these boys have been at it for many years and they know how to catch them. And how to put their arms underneath there and just what to feel for it. Very seldom do they get bit. But they do get bit. It's not half as serious as a lot of people always said. You hear people say stuff like they don't quit, they won't let loose till the lightning strikes and all that crap. You couldn't tell these fellas that. Uh, he's got him a fish here. So what kind you got there? Look at that smallmouth bass right there. Nice. Don't let it go. What do you weigh, bro? I don't know. About a pound. A pound We're going to turn him loose. Size, yeah. No, we're going to let him go. We'll let him go. It's a nice creek to catch these small mouse with. Nice. He's got one there. Is it? Don't get in front, Dan. There's a good one. Good eating size. How much he weigh, Frog? Eight or, ten pounds, Eight or ten pound there. See how he reached up there and tried to get his capture? <laughs> no chance. I don't know what it is yet. He said it's pretty good size. Oh, it's a big soft shell. That's a nice turtle. Soft shells are they're edible, but they ain't got a lot of meat on them like the hard shells do, but. That's three in the bag, or four in the bag, I'm not sure. That's why we got all these people here. We got a couple bags, and once they get full, we got a five hour trip, at least to get to our other car. Okay. You know let me see him, TJ. Yeah, there's a nice one. There you go. Good one, TJ. TJ, hold him up there and let's look. TJ's first turtle of the day. Shiny hat caught none. Ready? Oh, see it, snake. Don't let go of him. Grab him with both hands. That snake went up in the tree. That was bad. There he is. Bag. Got him by the head? No. I got his tail. He turned around, though. Any size to him? He ain't too awful bad. He don't look too bad, does he? <coughs> nice one. Look at that. Right. Does that man know how to grab them snappers or not? In the bag, in the bag. 
A great big turtle can fit in the smallest hole. Sometimes we can't even get them out. We, can, we know they're in there, we can't pull them out because they get in there and beats the heck out of us how they get in there. But every year they move to these creeks where the water's running. It's cool and they can bury themselves in the mud. See if I can grab hold of a leg. Pull them back up in the bank. Huh? They can really pull. They got a lot of power to them. I think he's got him over. There he goes. Any size to him? Good eating size. Good eating size. He'll work. Close up. Hang on. It ain't. What I said before is they're probably attracted to Jerry's face. There it is right there, as you can plainly see. <laughs> All right. Now let's get down here and catch some. Danny's that side getting heavy yet? Wow, where is it? TJ, you got the big sack? Is that thing getting heavy? How much it weigh, TJ? Huh? What's it weigh? About 100 pounds. No. About about That's probably what it feels like about now after dragging it for an hour or so. Weighs about, I'd say about 85 pounds. Directly in the sun, I don't know how good this is going to come out here. But. What's that? What's he doing? What's that? What? When you got one by the head, you don't turn loose because that's when you get bit. If you got them, they'll sit there and let you grab them by the head and leave their mouth open, thinking you're a fish. But if you let loose, look at that, see? There's none. He pulled that baby right out by his neck. Don't bite you as long as you got to hold the head. As long as you got to hold that head, don't see? You. Look at him. He's mad about it, too. Good job. Y'all don't get in front of the movie now. Get in front of the film. Scoot, scoot out of the way, Daniel. Let me. Okay, Daniel. Here's your big debut. There's his tail. You feel him? You feel him yet? Yeah, I got him. Here you go. Little Bill Smashy. Look up here, Daniel. I'm feeling on the shell. Turn the other way towards the camera. Let me see, Justin. He is inside that tree and he said he's got a nice one there. He might need some. Somebody get over and get it. He can't get out with the turtle. He's got a big one in there. Oh, he's not very big? Just, just a nice one. I see. You can't get him out? Come here and grab his legs. Watch your back, Jerry. You get him out? Looks pretty nice to me. He's got a big Let me get a close-up of that one. Wash him off a little bit. Now there. Hold oh, still. I got, his I got a close-up on his head here. You get mad. <laughs> In the bag. He's he he is in that route now. He's the Rambo with turtle. He's the Rambo turtle hunter. <laughs> Johnny, he's playing right out there in the edge. Well, I'm pissed. I was all the way back in there. <laughs> Ready, Danny. Uh, hold him there, sir. Hold him. Just hold him for a minute. Hold him for a second. I might get another one. Let's get down and get away. You ain't got much to hold. Oh, no, what? We have a hold of his ass. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's a man. Turn him around. Put a heat on it, sir. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't want. Great white turtle, honey. Shit, I think the battery's getting weak. It's pretty blurry. The windshield's going damn dirty. I don't think that's a problem. Better save it. Take it. We done got back home with them now, now we're going to dump them out. See how many we got here. Wait a minute. Just dump them out on the ground. We'll see them. how many we caught. Y'all get out of the way. How many is it? How many is there? Sixteen of them? That's not bad. Not a bad day, but they usually have a better day. They caught 39 in the last couple weeks. 29, then 10 more. Look at them fight. There's some nice ones there. There's another nice one. Watch that one there. This one right here is going to catch you. Oh, my goodness. Watch it. Where's he at? Jerry, you're going to get busy. Look at this little shot of run. Whoa. Oh. Boy, they think they're loose, don't they? Yeah, Who's in my yeah, don't y'all say? Watch your mouth. Let's let's see. Look at the flat now, Let's get them all moving soft around here. Look at that little soft shell. There's a little little bitty. D we don't even know what kind of turtle this is. It looks like a cross between a snapper and a tarpon. We're not sure. What that was? It done rained on us. Pickle. Yeah, they get mad about it. That's just what they do to your hands if you stuck them down there. One, two, three, five, at least five. What do you dollars. think about your daddy, honey? Here, girl. Now, let's see all these great white turtle hunters. Let's 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 get their real names on here. All right, number one, there's the, the man of the whole clan. That's Henry Thompson right there. Look up here, Henry. There's Henry. There's mom. There's my mom. And who else we got? There's, there's Jerry. We nickname him Frog because he's a damn frog. Uh, who else? Noah. He caught a couple there. There's Justin. He went with us. Who else? Danny Ray. He's in there sleeping. He's all tired. There's his wife, though. She's out here. <laughs> That's that's Frog Junior right there, Turtle Hunter to be, 19. Ought to be probably be about 2010. He'll be out there. And Brian, his car, uh, dang tree fell on his wife's car. He had to go get that. So uh, if it don't rain on us here, we're gonna clean these and we're gonna show you how it's done. Y'all be quiet so I can. Let's take one last look at these babies here. There's a nice turtle right there. There goes one in, in full stride. That's about as fast as they go, right there. Y'all get out of the way. Y'all get out of the way. All right, here we are again. We're taking off on another trip. We're going to a better creek this time. There's a truck and our barrel right up there. We're going to a good creek. It's supposed to be loaded with great big turtles. So. And we got a bunch with us again. My brother came out from uh, Ohio, he just moved up there. Got my old stinking brother-in-law here with me again. We're gonna go nail us a whole bunch this time, we hope. Creek out and see what it looks like. Looks like a thumbs up to us. Check it out here. And this creek right here is just a monster. That's a big creek. We're up on the bridge. Getting down there. Here we are down there. I guess the creek's a little bit muddy, but we're still going to try it anyways. There they are getting in the creek there. Getting ready to go down to the creek. We're right here at the edge of a big open field. It's a great big creek. We hope it ain't going to be too deep. Looks pretty muddy, but we're going to give it a try anyway. That's not too bad. That's the first snapper in the bag right there. Huh? You turned around the right way, so it might not be too bad. No. That's good. 
See, uh, the reason he said that, what he means is when the creek is muddy, usually a turtle will back into their hole, and most times if you hunt them when it's muddy, you'll get bit because you grab them by the head. But when the water's clear, they go in their head first. The reason they turn around when it is muddy because they can stick their head out there and the fish go by. Well, the fish, they sit there and wiggle their tongue. A fish will go in their mouth and, and there's dinner for them. So we were afraid that this creek might be a little too muddy, but it don't look like it's going to be that way. Looks like it's going to be all right so far. It gets a little deeper up. We're going up the creek instead of down because you go down the river, it's always deeper. And we like it a little shallow. I feel a pretty good one here. Pretty good one? Yeah, feel This creek's known for its great big turtles, and we're hoping to make a real good mess just today. He said he's got a pretty nice one there, so. This is a real rocky creek, but they seem to be up underneath them ledges, don't they, Jerry? Yeah, they go underneath the rocks as long as there's sand or mud or stuff underneath them. As long as there's sand or mud. Get in there and bury themselves. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a big snapper there. Nice one, Put him in my mouth. Just one, Jack. Y'all be still now. Y'all get him out. What? Look at the neck on it. Bye. He's working out. He must be very pretty good. Here he is. There's Jeremy's first turtle. And he's a nice one. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Ooh, a nice one. Man, he got him. Oh. He almost fell in the creek with him. That's, That's his first turtle. Hold it up there and smile. No, hey, James, how about that? Pretty good little turtle there. Good job. Another one in the bag. Here we are. Jerry says he's found another one. We're going to see if old Mr. Nick Thompson can catch a turtle. Never caught one before. I'm going to let him see if he can catch his first one. He's a little tentative, as most are on the first one, not knowing what's under there and what to expect. Look at him. Pulled him right out. How about a smile for that turtle? What about that? James, if I was you, I'd back up. We're going to see what he's got here. He says he's got a nice one. Let's see what constitutes a nice one. Jeez, That's fairly nice. One. <laughs> Let's see what he looks like. 12, 15 pounds, probably. All bite, I might add. He's a good one. Justin, bring him the bag for you. You want one? We're gonna put him in the bag before he gets too daggone mad. And on we'll go. I don't know. Something y'all can't get on this film is the is the smell when you pull one of them big ones out. There's a real strong smell he feels there. He's big one. He like they do stink. stink. As you can see, that's a, that's a 50 pound coffee sack. He puts a pretty good chunk in it. Up here, he's down in there with him, seeing what he can find. <laughs> find anything down there? Did not feel nice? Nothing but a bunch of rocks. Bunch of rocks. We don't know rocks. They don't eat very well. Kind of hard. I've heard of stone soup, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's, hard. it's what we'll be eating, we don't get much. It's a whole lot easier to cook that turtle and make it tender than it is to cook them rocks and make them tender. Well, the damn things will cooperate here. <laughs> a little bit. Speaking of, of cooking turtle, a lot of people cook it and say it's tough. Can't never get it to taste good or... Or to, to be halfway I got something. tender and edible. He says he's got something. Let's see what oh, he's got. A real little snapper. He's got a little bitty one, he says. Oh. Big enough to put in your pocket? No, he's just biting the piss out of me and it ain't a snapper either. It's a little tarpon. <laughs> you bit the turd out of me. And he paid him back for the, <laughs> for the interruption. It was <laughs> but anyway, back to cooking turtle now. The 
secret to cooking turtle is you got to get you one of these old iron skillets. Ooh, baby, he got me. And cook it real slow. Just salt, pepper, flour, seasoning to taste. Get you some good cooking oil. And Done got bit twice today. Thank you very much. You're welcome. They must like it. Look at that little leech right there. And cook it real slow, about an hour. You cook it about an hour, real slow, on low. I guarantee you, you're going to have a delicacy. Here comes the hook. Found one. There he is. There's no. There's no. Can I catch him? Oh, get over, boys. Get the sack on that one. Yeah, now I got two at a time. Catch now look at him. Yeah. A long way to go. Now he thinks he's good. He's got two at a time there. One here. Can I get him? Can I get him? Boys, back up. You got him? I think they found him. There he is. You can run, but you can't hide. At least not all the time. Here. Nice little snapper. He wasn't in the bank very far, that's why he took off. I had a hold of his tail. He's mad too. I don't know what the hell pissed him off today. He acts like somebody's been invading his privacy or something. Let me check the rest of my room. Let's see what he's got. He ain't showed nothing yet, but I ain't never known him to lie too many times. Right Having a hard time getting him to turn loose of his hold. Find him. There he is. Nice little turtle. In the sack he goes. Watch your head when you do. There he is. He says there's a hole full of them here. What's he look like? Are you gonna catch him by the head, huh? No. Nope. <coughs> Stick your finger in his mouth. He'll he'll hold on. This is one of those ones that get into a spot that's smaller than he is. Hard to get them out. Might have come in from another direction or anything. There he is. Nice little turtle. And then the sack he goes. Them sacks starting to get a little heavy, I suspect, about now. Of course, we got a fella here that can handle it. Show them arms, Blanford. What's them turtles do to your arms? Look at there. That's what packing turtles will do for you. What about you fellas? What y'all say them turtles will do for your arms? Make you hungry. Hungry? Can't eat them at this stage of the game. Got to wait just a little while. Yeah. There, finds one right off the bat. Ain't too bad. Let's see what he's got here. Fairly nice one. Hey, there, frog. Hey, up, that's one. There's more. Thanks for letting me catch that. Yeah, there yeah. are more in this. I have one. I think she might have found one in here. And he did. Nice little snapper. Go on, James. Don't get him too close to you. No. Look, I got one. Frog says he's got one over here. Let's see what he pulls out. That's what you catch in these big holes of water, though. Look oh, there, what a turtle. And he's mad. I don't understand that. Let's have a look at him, Brian. How is he? He's a probably a 20-pounder. Something like that. Hold him up in front of you. Let's get a a little bit of scale as to how big he is. Head. That's what you call a logger head. For good reason. Hold still. Big old paddle feet. And some powerful feet too. More powerful than you think.
I'm going to see if them boys can get this thing in a sack without getting bit. That's the way you do it, almost. Oh, God damn, I look. Here, take this son of a bitch here. I'm trying to get my bag. I'm going to lay it out for you, guys. There he goes. In the bag. How about him, Jeremy? He nice and light. I, I had him up because he had to go that way. Who's doing it, Nicholas? Yes. Is it? What happened to yours? Let's take a look. Kind of tortures them a little bit, don't it? Yeah. What are you going to do with them when you get home? Throw them away. Why? They got holes in them. That's They'd be good for the next turtle hunting trip, wouldn't they? I want them to throw them away. Getting rid of them, huh? Pretty slick. Most of the time. Did you get him out? There we got him. That's the first old soft we got today. Country music singers have always been a real close family. Lately, some of my kin folks have disowned a few others and me. Yes, it's because I kind of changed my direction. Lord, I guess I went and broke the family tradition. Get on me, want to know, Hank, why do you drink? Hank, why do you smoke? Why must you live out the song? Mine ain't exactly the same. Stop and think it over. Put yourself in my position. If I get 